Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagall for Monday, March 21st. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God, O Lord, come quickly to help me. Behold the Lamb of God, let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand, and the heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Our devotions this week will focus um, stemming from the section on the Sermon on the Mount from Matthew chapter 6. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. But I tell you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown in the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. I recognize that one of the least helpful things to say to people who are worried and anxious is don't be worried and anxious. And yet when Jesus says it on the Sermon on the Mount, he doesn't leave that sentence hanging out there by itself. He follows it up with this, don't be anxious, rather seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And then all these things given to you as well, the kingdom of God, train yourself to think in these terms, that the kingdom of God is not first and foremost a place but it's a ruling activity. When we pray, your kingdom come, we're praying that God's ruling activity would take place rooted not only in our hearts, but also the heart of others. Our prayer is that Jesus, that you would continue to be king, king for me, ruling through your gracious word and sacrament. And so with that perspective, you have a new way. Consider the birds, consider the flowers, consider how they don't worry, consider how they toil and spin or don't toil and spin and how your heavenly father cares for them. Seek first his kingdom and that's the one who tells you to cast your worries and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. He's the one who tells you not to be anxious about anything but by prayer and petition make your request to God. He's the one who says you've died and risen with him in baptism, and so now you set your hearts on things above where you are seated with Christ at the right hand of God. He is the one who brings you the daily need that your soul needs as we sing in a new favorite hymn, 
Day by day, Lord, your mercies attend me. He is the one who feeds birds and clothes fowl, the flowers of the field. He is the one who takes care of the widow and the poor widow and the grieving and those who are sick and hurting. He is your master. He is the one who did not spare his own son, but graciously gave him up for you all. He is the one who bids you seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. That's where my worries go. That's where my anxiety goes. On to him, the one who is my master, and he is so good for me. And for my proof today, it's the birds of the air. It's the flowers of the field. It's God's pronouncement to you that he, and he alone, continues to be your master. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All we like sheep have gone astray, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. By his wounds we are healed. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, <clears throat> as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways. And bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and to hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, both now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us now with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.